Hi guys, bonsoir tout le monde. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nefi. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and clicking on this video. And if this is your very first video that you're seeing of me, welcome. Please stick around after this video to view my other videos so you can get to know me more. Make sure to comment, like, share if you like any of the videos, and definitely subscribe. And so that way you can join the little family. Today I am bringing a review of a foundation I've been meaning to try for a while now. Um, it actually came out July of last year I believe and it's the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. So we're gonna try it out. I'll get I'll talk to you about price points and everything about it my opinion and I will be checking in throughout the day as far as I would say probably about after three to four hours of me having it on I'll come back and check with you guys to see how it's looking and then come back after I'm pretty much done wearing it for the day. Alright guys, so as far as for this foundation, um, it comes in 45 shades. Now price point on the NYX website, this product is um, $15 and at Ulta right now it's $10.50 and at Target it's $14.99, pretty much the same thing, $15. Um, but then also, too, I saw two different prices for it. I saw the $14.99, then I saw that it said $10 to $14.99. So I guess it depending, I don't know, on the shade. Which, that always confused me because some websites will put that for foundations. Like, it will be like from this price to this price. So I don't know if they're basing it on the shade and the availability of that shade. I don't know, but... That's what it says. Um, so of course, for now, as of right now, Ulta is cheaper because um, it's ten fifty at Ulta, and then at the next website, it's fifteen dollars. Um, yeah. So I was able to get. I got the Mocha. I'm <laughs> the shade Mocha and Maybelline fit me. So I'm like, okay. But based on how it looks and the color. I was like, okay, this should be good. So I haven't tried it yet. I did view some videos of this review and there were no in-betweens with this. It's either you loved it or you hated it from what I saw, the videos, the reviews that I saw. And the people that didn't like it, they say it was just very drying on the skin. And some people, a lot of people complained about it flaking. So before what I did, I sprayed some MAC Fix Plus I put on my moisturizer. And then after the foundation, after I put it on, I am going to spray again because I don't want it to get too dry on me because I have normally dry skin so just gonna pre take a precautions and we'll see if that helps. But let's just go ahead and get started. For primer I'm gonna go ahead and try my not try put on. Alright so I am using my elf brush. This is the ultimate blending brush. Right now, oh, oh, I'm excited because this is like my shade, looks pretty good. It has, uh, it has a little scent, but it's not bad. But I definitely can see what people say with the drying. It's matte. It's matte. <laughs> I don't want to say drying because it sounds like mm, not good. But it's just very matte foundation. But I'm loving the coverage. Love, love, love. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm feeling like my eye area it feels a little like it's giving me like a burning feeling a little bit just slightly like not too much but I just want to like tell you guys what's going on what I'm feeling I like it I must I'm gonna look if it's a full or medium to full but like even with my mustache I didn't even put any color correcting or con anything concealer any concealer in it and for my stash, I feel like I covered it pretty well let me see what do they say this is yeah this is a full coverage foundation <laughs> that's what I thought <laughs> I'm, I wasn't sure if it was medium to full or but it's a full coverage and it definitely I love it I'm loving it that feeling that I was talking about I don't feel it right now anymore um, hmm I don't know I don't know if this is just me or <laughs> like mm -mm. I don't know but I don't feel it anymore so it was just like a slight like but I'm loving it I don't even put need to put that much powder because it was already like met you know what I haven't put on a liquid foundation okay I haven't put on foundation liquid foundation without setting it with my powder like it's like I now I, I just have to but with this I literally I I wouldn't have to put on a powder foundation after it to set it 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 was good honestly by itself because I don't see much of a difference I don't think the powder did much of a difference <laughs> what up what up so I'm checking in it is currently 620 621 and so it's been four hours now since I've had on the makeup and I went to run some errands so I was out in the Sun and it is pretty hot today it's been <sighs> like 85 pretty much average 85 for the day and yeah so I've been in and out I've been out here in these streets um, so just checking in to show you guys I had didn't do any touch up at all I'm gonna take off my glasses so you guys can see better view if you see any dents that's of course from the glasses the but <laughs> everything else like the only thing that you mainly see is oil around my nostrils and a little bit up here not that much but it's holding up really good at least for me I think so this is to me expected a little oil here and there so I I was done really with that first part when I finished applying and everything at 2 17 and now it's close to 6 30 and this is how we're looking and I actually been out in the sun guys like <laughs> went in my car got out went in got out so yeah I've been out here and it's holding up so I will come back um, to you guys when I'm done with my day and I'm ready to take this off yeah so I'll just come back but I just wanted to come here and show you guys the update on how it's looking after having it on for just four hours all right y'all when I say I'm tired my eyes can barely stay open it's actually <sighs> let me right now it is 11 16 I did not expect to get home this late um I thought I was gonna get home like at 9 30 <laughs> but anyway um so I'm just gonna wrap this review we're gonna wrap it up <laughs> all right so this is how my face is looking let me this is it a little bit closer as you can see it's pretty much about the same thing just more oily around the same t-zone area everything else is really pretty good um literally I've had this foundation from 2 p.m. <laughs> to 11 so a full about eight nine hours on now so 
for it to literally look just like this after eight nine hours that's really good because there's some foundations that i have that i love but after three four hours this is the level it'll be at so for it to be eight nine hours right now and it's looking like this that's really good like no touch up i forgot to do this in the beginning as far as reading a description of what it says on the website so i'll just read what the foundation claims to do this foundation is lightweight waterproof and pigmented af <laughs> that's actually what it says on there um full coverage this comfy liquid formula of course like i said 45 shades glides on smooth and it delivers a matte coverage and color that stays true for up to 24 hours it is lightweight it's not watery it's lightweight for a full coverage foundation with how much coverage i'm getting and how long this lasted on my skin you would think that it would feel heavy or whatever but it really doesn't I, at one point i forgot i still had on my makeup on it was like like dang i gotta get home and take this off so yeah it doesn't it doesn't feel heavy on my skin at all even though it's full coverage um and as far as staying true to color it actually it didn't oxidize at all for me at, at least not this shade i don't know if maybe other shades might but the mocha shade that i've tried still looks the same as i put it on it didn't get darker or anything on me so definitely hit the like button and hope this really helped you hope you enjoyed this review i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.